All right, what's going on, guys? In this video, we'll be going over um, more types of character sets. So in the previous video, we went over the backslash W and backslash uh, capital W, and those were mainly to target alphanumeric characters. But in this video, we're going to be looking at other types of character sets. All right, so the first character set I want to look at is backslash D. So this backslash D matches digits. So anything from 0 to 9, the backslash D will match, and the backslash uppercase D is just the complement of the backslash lowercase D. So in this case, it's going to match anything that the backslash D uh, does not match. All right, so let's just look at examples. What was that? OK, so we have a string uh, that has two digits and a bunch of characters, and then two uh, plus symbols. So we're going to run this. Um, uh, backslash D with the, uh, the plus quantifier. So we're going to run the character set backslash D with the plus quantifier and see what we pull out. So remember, it matches digits, so as expected, um, it pulls out the two digits located within the string. Um, yeah, so that's it for that. Uh, it's pretty self explanatory. Um, let me go into some other character sets. So now backslash S represents any white space character. And backslash capital S is the complement of backslash S, so it represents any non white space character. So, white space character is uh, new lines, tabs, uh, spaces, etc. So, when you see uh, backslash N or backslash T, those are all white space characters. Non white space characters are pretty much none of those things, so they're just a, the complement of um, backslash S. All right, so let's just take another look. Okay, so here we have no white spaces, right? So we have two digits, and we have a bunch of uh, letters, and we have um, two plus characters. So backslash capital S matches anything that's not a white space. So in this space, since there's no white space, uh, we could just run this, and it should grab the full string. So let's just run this, and it grabs the full string. All right. Okay, so now I have another example. Um, so this is the string. So now we're going to actually run. Uh, so we have a pretty lengthy string. And now we're going to use uh, re.findall. So it's going to find all the words. Essentially, it's finding everything that's not uh, empty space. So, so excuse me. Um, so essentially, it's going to pull out all instances of words that are not spaces. So in this case, it's going to just I ignore all the empty spaces and just pull out the words. So essentially, we're getting all of the text without um, a clean format. So if I run this, let's see. Uh, so it's pretty lengthy. So let's just run this again. Robots are branching out. And you've, let's see. University of California. Then there's um, plastic hills. Let's see if they talk about the meters. It seems to be pulling out everything. 3D structures, um, 72 meters, 10 meters. So I feel like it's pulling out everything, and it should be um, based on the regular expression. So let's see. One thing we can do is you can use the join. Um, uh, so we could essentially pull out all of the characters, all of the words within an article using this uh, backslash s and create a list out of that. And um, one thing we can do is we can actually join it back together using um, spaces and we'll get the article back. So this isn't the first time a robot takes. So this seems to be in the lab. So before in the lab, we have a camera sensor. So let's just make sure camera sensor. So essentially, it's uh, pulling out the whole article. So yeah. So backslash s, um, what it does is pull out all the words without the spaces, and then we could just join everything together and we get the article back. So yeah, so that's backslash s. Okay, now the next thing I want to show you is um, the dot. Okay, the dot matches any character except the new line. Um, there's actually a flag you can use to have the dot um, uh, pull out the new line, but we'll go over flags in another video. So the dot, it essentially represents all characters any type of characters except the new line. So we have the string, and now let's just uh, let's just try out um, dot, and then we're going to use the quantifier plus. Okay. So dot is 
the character set. So dot's a character set and the plus is the quantifier. So let's just run this and see what output we get. Okay, so we run it and it says plants are branching out. A new prototype soft robot takes inspiration from plants and it ends ex to explore its environment, then it ends. So let's just take a look at our original string. So if you look at our original string, um, the string ends at uh, environment and then there's a new line. So the starts with a new line, vines and fungi extend their, uh, from their tips. So this is the new line. So we essentially um, grab everything we can before we uh, hit the new line. Um, actually, I'll just uh, give you an example of the flag. So re.search, we're actually just going to, let me just copy all of this. Um, let's just get rid of this. Okay. So the flag is the third parameter. Flags, I think it's flags, right? Flags equals, and it's re.all. So re.all means include the new line. So this flag essentially says include the new line. So we should be pulling out the entire article. If we run this, okay, so it pulls up the entire article with the new lines. So we have all this new lines. Um, so we can actually just get rid of the new lines by using strip, I'm assuming. Let's see if this works. Oh no, strip, we can use strip because it's included in the middle. Yeah, so the, the new lines are within the middle, so we won't be able to uh, get it out with a simple strip, but yeah. So dot is a character set that pulls in all characters. Um, and if you use the dot, accept the new line, all characters, accept the new line. And if you use the dot all, it includes the new line. All right. So those are essentially um, some of the most common character sets. And now the next thing I want to go into is creating your own character sets. So yes, we can create our own character sets. And let's just uh, dive right into this. Um, there we go. All right, so to create your character set, we have to use these uh, square brackets. So this, these square brackets are also another meta character within uh, regular expressions that are used to create your own uh, character sets. So if you create these square brackets, um, they have a special meaning. And that's um, anything included within these square brackets is included in your uh, custom character set that you're creating. Now this, uh, this hyphen is also a special meta, ca meta character. And this hyphen is not a character that's included in this a, um, AZ custom set. So it's not A hyphen Z, that's our custom set. It's actually A to Z. So anything from A to Z is part of our custom set. So this hyphen, if you actually want to use this hyphen, what you would have to do is you would have to probably, you would have to backslash the hyphen um, to use it as a regular character, string character, as opposed to the meta character that it, it is within this uh, regular expressions. Okay, so A to Z represents all uppercase letters. So let's just uh, implement this uh, custom character set and see how it works. Okay, so we have a string. Hello there, how are you, right? Hello there, how are you is a string. Um, it has four capital letters, five capital letters, commas, and, and each word is separated by a comma. So let's just run this. We have our string now. Okay, so our character set is going to pull out, this character set is going to pull out um, all the capital letters. Because remember, we're using re.findall. So any capital letter it finds, it pulls it out. So in our case, we have a capital letter here, 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 and here. So it should pull out all of these. Um, so let's just run it. Okay, so H, H, T, H, A, U, A, E, Y, H, T, H, A, Y. So it pulls out all the capital letters. Now, let's look at another uh, custom set. So we have everything from A to Z, and a comma. So this comma, you gotta be careful, it looks like we're um, separating items in a list, but but this is actually not a, a meta character, this is a, a string character. So this comma is actually a comma, it's going to search for a comma. So our character set is actually anything from capital, uh, anything from A to Z, capital letters, anything from A to Z, capital letters, and a comma. So all of these are included in our custom set. So we should be pulling out all this in addition to all that, we should be pulling out these commas as well. So let's just run this. So we pull out an H, the comma, T, comma, H. So we're pulling out the commas as well. Okay. So now, okay, so we have a new string now. Okay. Um, so this is a dot, dot, dot. So this new string is dot, dot, dot. 
Now, within these uh, meta characters, within this custom set, this dot doesn't represent um, the dot that we're so used to. Uh, the dot in regular expressions is uh, actually part of a character set. But when, when we're creating a custom set, this dot is actually just a period and not the character set that we uh, explored a little earlier here. So it's not the same, same dot as this dot. So you got to be careful. Anything going into these two square brackets, um, a lot of these uh, character sets lose their meaning. So yeah, so just uh, keep that in mind. All right, so we have a new string and it ends with dot, 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 right? So dot, dot, dot. So let's just run this and see what it pulls out. So it should pull out everything from A to Z. It should pull out all the commas and it should pull out all the dots. We run this. So it pulls out everything we pulled out before. And now we're just including the three dots, dot, dot, dot. All right, so now the next string that we're going to look at, um, I've actually included backslash and in S. So this backslash and S means uh, empty space. Uh, I think we're allowed to use this because it's, uh, it's a Python meta character. This dot is actually a regular expression meta character while this back, backslash S is actually a, a Python meta character. So it works in this case. So now let's just uh, take a look at what we're pulling out. Um, this is a pretty huge custom set. We're pulling out all the capital letters. Then we're pulling all the lowercase letters. We're pulling out any commas. We're pulling out any spaces. And we're pulling out any periods. So essentially, we're pulling out this whole string. So if we run this, uh, let's see. Hello there. How are you? And it pulls out essentially the whole string. And yeah, so this was just a brief introduction to custom uh, sets. So let me just get out of here. Uh, this video is a little longer than I expected, so we will continue the next video with uh, quantifiers. We're going to use quantifiers with custom sets. So I'll see you guys in the next video.